Jim Lester in Washington. There are few sights more thrilling in sailing than the spectacle of 18-foot skiffs literally leaping and flying across the sparkling waters of Sydney Harbour at breakneck speed. These high-performance craft have come a long way from the original 18-footers, which started racing back in the 30s. But as Tracy Bowden reports, a renewed interest in these original skiffs has led to a big revival. It is the great Australian tradition, it, 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 and it must not be forgotten, like, like many of our traditions. Boat builder Bob Tian is committed to reviving a classic part of Australia's nautical heritage. In a white goods warehouse in inner Sydney, he's meticulously recreating, from sketches and half models, one of the original gaff-rigged 18-foot skiffs. The construction of it, the actual sailing of a boat, is all part and parcel to the great Australian tr tradition of boat and boat sailing, which is totally unique in the world. Th th this was a sport that was totally unique to Australia. Many types of boats sail on Sydney Harbour, but the 18s are the most spectacular, being the fastest open sailing boats in the world. The 18-footers date back to the late 1800s. In the days before bridges, they were the workhorses of Sydney Harbour. Then the locals started racing them. It's maintenance It's uh, originally started off with people who didn't have any money. They were only battlers and that, and they, put, they built their own boats and put some sails on them and went sailing. The original boats were trading boats. They were really trading boats that, boats that fellas went along and, uh, and raced. John Winning, a champion sailor in the modern 18-footers, now also competes in the replicas. Earlier this year, he asked Bob Tian to build a replica of the Alruth, a boat built by one of the sport's legends, the late Alf Bischel. Well, Alf's father uh, had an 18-foot uh, skiff, and then Alf had 16-foot skiffs and 18-foot skiffs. He just became... Uh, just sort of totally dedicated, I guess, uh, to 18s. Before a boat is accepted for racing, she must be officially measured. No boat may measure more than 18 feet from stem to transom. Or Alf Bischel, seen here in his later years as an administrator with the 18-footers sailing league, was also a champion sailor in the class. The original Al Ruth, named after Alf Bischel and his wife Ruth, was built in 1935. Well, they just disappeared. They, they, they were built extremely lightly, light, 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 lightweight construction for, for a performance basis. And as such, they just, they just fell apart after 10 years. All became launches and um, they, be, they soaked up too much water and became heavy, whereas this construction will be totally epoxy sealed. This boat will, it will wind up in the museum eventually. I'd like to christen this boat on behalf of my grandfather, Al. Today, the recreated Al Ruth sets sail for the first time, with three generations of the Bischel family on board. A pretty treasured moments for me. It's all right, really. You don't often get the chance to use the same sport you're all in, be together when you're 65 years old, you know. The Alruth joins a growing fleet of replicas, bringing a little history to Sydney Harbour every weekend in a competition conducted by the Sydney Flying Squadron. I think it's a great thing to recapture, you know, you're able to, in this way, bring on younger generations up, you know, they can come out as uh, helping out and crewing the boats um, and be learning from people's experience, where a lot of the boats these days are racing at a the crews have gotten smaller on the boat, so there's no room for someone to really come on board and learn. And this is a great thing about the, this sort of boat. In the original 18-footer days, it was pretty competitive, and it seems things haven't changed all that much. We have very, very competitive races. And there should be a few more guys up to our speed this year, and so it'll, it'll be on for young and old. Oh, it's a great tradition. And in the new year, the Australians will do battle with the Kiwis. Early January, we'll see six skiffs from across the Tasman challenging Sydney's replicas in the World Championship Reenactment Regatta. Either way, the New Zealanders and Australians have always been at, at noggin heads at one another. Sport comes first. Winning is important when you go, when you go up against the New Zealanders. 
At a time when there are so many entertainment and sporting options, these crews are revelling in doing things the old-fashioned way. That's the great joy of these boats. You don't have to be an absolute champion to sail them. And um, it, it, uh, it's for everyone.